well morning everyone um just a quick update uh, we've been cleaning off the stones at the front on the pillars and preparing the walls for crepe uh, which is i don't know what that is in english sorry um but let me show you what we found We have found a beautiful design on these pillars. It's not in the best shape, but we will renovate it as it is. So we're not going to try and make things look like they're in better condition. We're just going to renovate as it is. This side here isn't in as good a condition, but again, we're just going to renovate as is. Somebody has replaced blocks at one time. And then, along here, everything's prepared, ready for the crepe. So, covering this wall, we're ready to go. There is one last thing I've not told you about. I'm going to show you that now. So, I don't know if anyone can spot what's uh, gone on here, but it's looking stunning. The moulding for the most part on this pillar is there. Uh, we lost a little bit here but that's fine. On this one though, we have some uh, sculpting to do. So I think I might get a, a friend in to do that for me because it's something that you have one go at doing and it needs to look right.
Well, today's the day, everyone. I'm going to get this gate automated. Um, I've done all the prep necessary. It should just be popping the motors on and connecting the electrics up and putting the light on and it should be all done. Yes, I have a ski jacket on because it's six degrees and I can't take any risks. If I get cold with my back and I'm shivering, I will injure my back a bit more. So um, without further ado, let's get on to maybe a time lapse when we're putting the light on the front and then we'll move on to the motors. So that wasn't as easy as it should have been. Um, I was struggling with uh, having to use my right hand to screw the screws in, um, but I got there in the end. Uh, I'm going to move on to the beams now. These have to line up precisely, otherwise the gates just won't work. Um, also, once I've put the cable in, I then need to silicon the hole. That's a really important step. So the hole where the cable goes into the beam um, box as such, uh, it needs filling up with silicon because if a spider gets in there or something else then it can really disrupt the beam and again the gates won't work properly. So that's one of the infrared sensors down. I've got the other one still to do, and that's where it gets a bit technical. I have to get the level out and make sure that these two sensors line up. Again, the game, gate will not work unless they line up. So those are looking pretty neat, I think. I'll show you in a second. And we're getting closer and closer to the moment of truth. Will the gates work? So next step is to put the motors on. Let me show you these, these uh, sensors anyway. So they are level and they're in about the right place, uh, front to back as such, so that they will work. What are the sensors for? The sensors are for um, sensing a car if the gates are opening and closing. So it's a security feature. Let's get these motors on. I've got a little bit of easy engineering to do. Just getting the brackets on and the motor casing on. And then it gets starts getting really technical. Um, there's a certain procedure to follow to install the gates. Uh, well, the gate motors. Um, so yeah, let's give that a go. So I did exactly the same process on the other motor. And so really all it leaves now is to connect them to the gates, follow the process that they tell you to do and wire them up and it should work. 
I'm a little bit worried about the next stage. Um, it's strong arming those arms into position with the gates closed. Of course I've got the force to do it, but um, I'm a little bit worried that if, uh, if I've not done something correctly on the installation, it could all just pull off the wall. So before I started the time lapse, I was just having a good look at the motor arm and how the, that will work with the gates and we've come across a huge problem. Let me explain. So this motor arm here has a little arm that comes out and that's your kind of adjustment for each different gate. Now, if I bring this round and we stop this kind of clicks in place to the, the maximum. So let's close that. That's clicked in place to the maximum. And this arm is far from the nearest bar. But that's not the only problem. Remember that's bar number three. If I now open the gate, bar three is here right next to the wall. Now this arm can obviously not get round there. So I'm having to get this bar to work, uh, this arm to work with one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I can get it to work with number six. And this arm here can come right back here if we need to. So let's just have a look, gate closed, where bar number six is. So I've put the hoop on that I bought and the little bit of metal that I constructed to clamp the gate. Let's bring the bar around again, lock it in place for its maximum. So there we are at the maximum. We are quite a way away. So in short, that motor kit is not going to work how it is. But after thinking long and hard, I think the simplest way round this problem is to extend the little adjustable part of the arm. I'll show you in a second. Now I did buy motors that were kind of well, well over the strength I needed. So I'm hoping that it will be able to push those gates um, kind of with a cantilever a bit further out, if you know what I mean. So this is the bar I'm talking about. It needs to be about another 20 centimetres on top of that. And so that motor there needs to be really strong to be able to push that extra bit further. Um, there was another bone of contention with these gates. They were closing a lot too far forward. Um, so now I've kind of figured out where they need to be closing and of course that brings in another problem They're touching at the top when I try to close them at this uh, level closing uh, aperture So it turned out a bit of a bag of nails this job. I'm gonna have to do a bit of grinding I'm gonna have to make two new arms and let's just hope the gates work after. Hi Ed, are you still fitting the gates? Don't go there Anna, it's been three days of hell. Um, these motors they're very very good but they're not meant for gates that are so far back um i've kind of had to do this macgyver bit here <laughs> normally this is your adjustment but i've had to put some extra on um, i've just about got the gates to open as much as we need the two meters 40 width which means we can fit our car through which is really wide anyway um but it's been hard you can see all the lines i mean these these lines in here go right back these are all the different trials i've been doing oh. and i've optimized it so yeah i did do a course on optimization at university and my maths degree so it came in handy there 
So yeah, this is where you'd have your normal adjustment. This is where it attached to the gate normally. Mm -hmm. So I've made this and made that. So and you've actually, well, personalized it, customized it? Customized it, but there's one thing I couldn't customize and it's the one thing I needed to customize, which is the length of this bit here to the pivot. If I could make this just a bit longer or buy a part that's a bit longer, which I might still try and do, um, it, all this kind of problem here and the gates not opening quite as much as I want will just go away and I'll be able to open the gates another 10 centimetres, which makes all the difference. Anyway, you've come at the right time. I'm going to take over and I need you to fit the grommet that's in there. Okay. So it's that little grommet there. You can just about see it. It's not in place. It needs to be in that okay. hole. Okay. I've come around the other side of the gate so I can get a better view at your work. <laughs> it's perfect it, little hands. Yeah, but I still think even though my hands are small, not small enough. Uh, no. Is this Do you like... manage to get it towards the bottom? Yeah, I've managed. Okay. That's it. I've done it, Dad. Okay, let me check. Make sure. Very good job. You can't see on here, but I can see. That's a really good job. So I'm on to the bit that is actually going to be easier, which is the electric, you know, all the electric connections and the commissioning. I thought that was going to be the hard bit, but it was these adjusting of the gates that took ages so give it another i don't know 20 minutes half an hour should be uh, operational these gates So I was just trying to commission uh, the, the kind of program the the unit on the other side and I just kept coming up against it not programming properly and uh, and then I went over the instructions again still no wiring that was missing and then I noticed that there was this encoding two wires missing for encoding that have to go back to the box so there was no talk of it in any of the instructions. There was just like a port, encoding port. And I just so happened to notice that the motor that's connected in the box there has the encoding wires. So I've just figured out I have to pull five wires through and I only have three. So it's like uh, one step forward, two steps back here now. Thankfully I put a nice large trunking in, but I'm gonna have to pull through a new wire with five wires in, new cable with five wires in almost so, there but yeah. it's 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 making it very hard right up until the very end of this job but uh yeah i have to nip to the shop and uh give me another 20 minutes half an hour what do you think anna yeah sounds good okay let's go the sad part is if that if they, if you knew that from the start and if it was in the instructions we wouldn't be having this problem no I'm going to let you in on a little trade secret. What Anna. is that, Ed? Right, we've got a bit of room in here. It's not too bad, but when you've not got much room and you don't want to kind of tape two cables together like that, it takes mm -hmm. up too much room. What you do is you, you twist um, a cable from each of the cables, uh, from each of the wire, well, a wire from each of the cables together. One that way, one that way. So whichever way you're going in the tube, it doesn't come undone mm -hmm. and normally I shouldn't have a problem if this comes off under here I'm in real trouble fingers crossed everything's going to be good from now on mm. well they did have one last roll of the of the cable I needed so that was one good thing so it worked Anna you can cut that off now don't need that cable now I have to just get it from there to there.
That's it, Ed. You've done it. There we go. It's oh, not yes. been a particularly easy task. Um, no. And I've still got a few little tweaks just to finish off. Bit of painting still to do now because we've had to mess around with things, but we're done. Yes. The walls are nice and neat. The entrance is spectacular, I think. Yes, and, it is. Uh, almost Napoleon style uh, pots at the top. Don't yeah, know what you'd the tea Yeah. I don't want to put flowers in because I don't think the flowers will live very long. Uh, because we're not going to go up there and water them every few days, are we? So I think it looks really, really good and I'm really happy with the outcome. Yes, so they look amazing. You never know. Maybe we'll put flowers. On to maybe dressing the, uh, the extension. What do you think, Anna? Yes. I think we might have another surprise in the meantime for everyone. So you just have to keep watching. And don't forget, subscribe, like and ring that bell. See you next time, guys. See you soon.